Hello, Cancer! Welcome! This is Ascended Stars. Thank you for watching my channel. Uh, this is going to be your love oracle reading. I'm doing a little something different for the love vibe this month. Um, it's going to be strictly oracle. Um, I've been guided to do the reading like this. Okay, so I hope everyone's good. This is Allie Jade coming at you. YouTube channel, Ascended Stars. Thank you for watching. Let's get into it. Okay, so the energy for February for my cancers is dandelion. Manifestation. Oh, yeah. Time to manifest. North node. Let me put my earplugs on. Goodness. Okay, there we go. Manifestation. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let me find this dandelion and I'll read you uh, the information on it. <clears throat> Hope everyone's been good. Uh, January went really fast. <laughs> okay, dandelion, cancer, energy, here to manifest. And the quote from Abraham, which is channeled by Esther Hicks, is... It's not your work to make anything happen. It's your work to dream it and let it happen. Yeah, it's funny. It's the second time I've heard that. I see. I saw it earlier this month. So, although dandelion is a well-known plant, it is not always a popular one. Folks spend quite a bit of energy eradicating these plants from their lawns and gardens. Oh, I read this because I pulled it for myself earlier in the week. That's right. In fact, dandelion has become the poster child for weed killing sprays and chemicals. So let's get into the, what it really means. Dandelion's ability to grow just about anywhere, even in the crack of a sidewalk, is a testament to this plant's tenacious personality. <laughs> Hello, Cancer. Its taproot gathers nutrients from deep within the soil and holds on to life even when the entire upper portion of the plant is destroyed. The yellow bloom carries the energy of the solar plexus, the center of our willpower. Drawing dandelion signifies that you are on the right track toward accomplishing your goals. You're probably feeling very action-oriented, driven by the desire for success and achievement. It, it is possible you have worked very long and hard on a project. And Dandelion is here to cheer you up. The manifestation of your dreams is on its way. While physical action is necessary for accomplishment, Dandelion reminds us to balance action with pure intention. Think of children plucking a dandelion to blow the, pluffy, the fluffy seeds into the wind as they make wishes for the future. All great feats start with an idea, a thought. Intention alone can have powerful effects on manifesting our reality. The law of attraction tells us that we focus upon, what we focus upon, we bring into our lives. As you hit obstacles along your path, remember to step back and focus on what you desire with true heartfelt gratitude for what is to come. If need be, take a break from a physical action and relax. By maintaining optimism and trusting that your dreams will come true, you open the door for divine assistance. Ask the spirit of dandelion to help you manifest your dreams. This plant has a long history of ritual use in a wide variety of traditions, from hoodoo to wicca, and is said to boost psychic abilities and grant wishes. Now, you know, cancer is very psychic. Humanity's typical response to dandelion as a weed is a testament to our tenacity to overlook the good that is all around us. It also indicates our desire to control our surroundings rather than remaining open to possibilities as they arise. Dan Linet reminds us to keep an open mind and accept help from unexpected sources. Do not remain so overly driven and focused on your work that you shut yourself off from unforeseen opportunities. The flower essence of this plant is used for hard working go-getters who become too tense to allow life to flow through them. Manifesting our goals is a balanced act between action and intention. Knowing how to use both without strain is the key. A final lesson of dandelion deals with self-worth, another issue of the solar plexus. 
hard work alone is not enough to achieve true success in life. You also have to believe in yourself. For many of us, this is the hardest work of all. And yet, Dandelion is here to give you encouragement, affirm your value. When your actions are aligned with your intentions in a joyful way, you will manifest exactly what you want. So this is um, interesting energy because uh, it's not really love energy. <laughs> like maybe it's more it's more saying focus on on the on your desires of where you want to go is what I'm picking up, and on that journey you will meet this. Uh, significant other now the energy of you and, and and that you would like to have between you and your significant other at this time is um, you have dolphin and so you want to meet someone you can play with because I believe you know cancer is so emotional and you feel so much for others and you're driven and so you're you have this uh, balance between the masculine initiating go-getter energy and the feeling you know compassionate mother energy for those around you so you want someone that you can play with and that will be your soulmate your violet flame um, who will get you spiritually okay because that's really important for you you have to connect on a spiritual level for my cancers um, or else this this you know even though you guys like sex you know um, you can be very sexual very much like the Scorpio watery energy but this needs to be a, a connection of spirit for you um, in, in the future for your next relationship or maybe that's the, the connection you have currently or you're, you're wanting to manifest um, we have the physical body um, for you I feel like being vulnerable is very difficult at this time because um, you've been hurt in the past and so showing your vulnerability um, is a challenge I think it's a challenge for my cancers right now because um, it, you might be replaying an old trauma an old pain and and still healing from that and in a way spirit saying you know it's it's okay to show your vulnerability to your partner okay whether you're partnered or you're going to be you're on the right path you're on the golden path here so things are lining up for you um, and and I think like you know uh, if you're not partnered what when you connect to the intention of your desires and where you want to go you will be meeting that mate on the way there you know towards this journey of um, manifestation and creation answered prayer you know it's funny because um, this reminds me a lot the manifestation at one point when I was talking reminded me of the Virgo reading I did and also they got this one in the same position answered prayer right in this spot too so let's see um, something's gonna come true for you guys oh a happiness a better feeling um, joy I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path so um, Keeping your vibration high is like super important. Even though I see like the ocean and here's more dolphins. You're going to manifest this love by staying positive, um, keeping to the light and not the dark, not doing shady things. My cancers, you know, this is going to keep away, this keep your, your divine soulmate away from you. You have to um, have this playful energy, uh, fun, excitement might be a Leo I'm picking up you might be attracted to a Leo because they're 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 the inner child they're about lightness and fun and you know um, so I'm picking up that energy uh, you are able to co compromise if the end result is love so you know you're, you're not willing to compromise but in, in this case be, with love you're willing to um, you know it is compromise when it comes to love so you're more than willing to compromise for this love that's that wants to manifest in your life and this is you know this is saying with a happy vibration you'll be more willing to accept this person even though it might not have been something that you would have accepted uh, in a partner rest and relaxation is essential we all have a fundamental need to take breaks so um, you might be you know pushing 
the metal to the pedal a lot and so right now it's saying take those needed breaks i mean this is really harsh energy you know manifesting it is not easy in the 3d so you might be working hard and then you need to like you know kick back and, and let yourself rest um in order to manifest from your true intention from your true desires so spirit can help you and they're giving you um look poseidon is here poseidon is here and more dolphins you keep getting these fish and you guys are the cans the, the water energy so you know play in it's like i feel like they're saying play in your work and you will manifest play in your relationships you know um I love that energy. You guys are, are really harnessing what it is you want this year. You're very connected to what it is you want. Like you know what you want, I feel. Like you know what it is you desire. Um, this is one of the most positive readings I've had for now. I'm still doing them all. But um, right now, thus far, you guys have a really good positive reading. Now, what I want to see is uh, what is the hindrance? What's the planetary hindrance for the masculine and the divine feminine? So whoever you are in the in the relationship, if you represent the divine feminine, um, the, the planetary energy for the divine feminine, feminine is Chiron. Your healing power, empathy, and ability to teach or learn remedies. Now Chiron is in the first house of Aries right now. It's in the last degrees. And... Um, the first house is the face that you show the world, who who you are, your head, um, who you represent when you're out in public. And there's a, a whole reconstruction being happening for you guys in that Chiron is right there. Uh, healing, healing who you were so you can come out, you know, stronger, better um, and, and, and healed from the past. So I feel for my divine feminines. There was a great wound um, in who you presented, you know, there was a great wound within you and this was being seen on the outside from your lover or from anybody that they maybe couldn't connect with you because you were in this wounded place. Um, this could go for the divine, this could go if you're a male, you might represent the divine feminine energy in in the relationship so this could be a male too okay so you don't have to be female to be the divine feminine energy so you might have been like too engrossed in your own pain to be able to um connect to another soul on a on a on a on a spiritual um romantic connection why is that taking so long to get out i don't know saturn okay for the divine masculine um whoever plays a divine masculine role in the relationship the part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom now the divine masculine energy is working on discipline determination um conquering what they want to conquer uh in the world in the 3d world and they're learning to harness these characteristics of perseverance uh steadfastness staying true to who they are in the 3d world um walking their talk okay the divine masculine is really learning to harness to walk their talk because as as a union um you're wounded here and this other divine partner wasn't able to to you see how the back is also um given they weren't able to help you heal okay they, they helped you heal in a, in a way where you had to do the work yourself right this this individual was not um capable because they have their own agenda for their own things and that's more important to them than you know being emotionally available to the cancer yet cancer can be emotionally available to this person right so you have to distinguish those who are helping you heal or helping you deal with your emotional parts of yourself, the wounded parts of yourself, to those who turn their back on you and never helped you or never were there for you. Um, I think you're really making that distinguishment right now. And 
and and and you 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 know I think this is a pivotal time right now for that. So that's beautiful energy. Um, you're healing, and as you're healing, your vibrations getting higher, and you're able to play, and you're able to bring in this beautiful violet flame energy. The um, Saint Germain energy. This is what I associate to the Saint Germain energy, which is the alchemist turning dirt into gold. Okay, turning a you know a, a bad situation like the prophets of the Bible, uh, and then and then still having the faith, having the spiritual connection, having the divinity with God, with higher source, whatever you have, and keeping it going, keeping it flowing, and just um, transmuting that. And, and, and getting what you want, uh, ultimately making all those obstacles that got in your way now um, are just chiseling you into get in, getting you to a place where you're, you know, you're cardinal, you're breaking through those, those old karmic patterns and that old um, archaic way of being. I feel for you guys, I feel a lot of ancestral chains are breaking, okay? Um, and so you're finally able, since they've broken, you're finally able to feel this happiness. And that's an answered prayer because I think some of you might have been really down and out in a sad place for quite a while. Um, cancer represents the mother. Could it have to do with um, not healing that part of your situation with your uh, maternal energy? Okay. And then uh, that's what I have. That's what I have. So um, opening your heart and feeling vulnerable is, is going to be uh, this month the theme, but you're on the right path, okay, getting what you want, you know what you want, having good intention, make sure that you rest, because you're um, steamrolling steam ahead, we're all steamrolling ahead, you know, Aries is in its home sign, it's going, taking initiative, doing action, and um, there's, a, there's an answered prayer here, I absolutely adore this card whenever it comes out this angel of transformation you see the butterfly and the solar plexus energy is what they were talking about in in this manifestation card too um you know getting intention getting connected to the true intention of um what it is you want to manifest so that's i think it's just beautiful energy for you guys so Let's go on to some oracle guidance that I have as um, three. Three is a magic number, the year of three. <laughs> and uh, I also have two more cards for you. But let's see. Set your sights higher. Increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. I do feel this has to do with your mate. Like you might have settled for um, a partner that was abusive or that wasn't ready to take to take it to the higher level with you and you're ready to jump a higher level you may may have been ready for a while but this partner was keeping you down this partner was karmic or this partner um had drug i feel like drug things are coming in you know addictions is what's what i feel and or, or you or you had them okay because you can get to um into something as well that could be sex i i know that cancers can 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 use that you know as escapism as well but um okay so let's see what the advice is here oh wow wow okay so you're valuing I feel like you're valuing yourself a lot more who you are what you can give what you can bring to the relationship to the table at, at, at a job or at a relationship I feel like you are really um, valuing yourself more I think I feel that you're gonna have fear you're gonna have to move past this fear fear has stopped you from the past from really getting to where you want um, I feel I also feel like communication with this a uh, significant other is uh, not easy it's not easy because um, you have to communicate about your feelings and I feel there's fear about communicating about your heart feelings to this individual um, and you're learning to to overcome that this month uh, body care again this is another theme where you um, need to be vulnerable and and love your body and love yourself 
in a way that uh, no other, in no, like no one else can. Like maybe you've relied on others to give you these compliments, or you know, sometimes we do that with codependents. We want them to love us, adore us, and then that's like you know, love to us. But um, we have to love ourselves, and we have to care for ourselves. So you, it's important because you might be. Uh, it's saying to rest a lot in your last. Uh, spread so you might be overdoing it and get sick so you have to care for your body you can't overdo it um, this month it could happen that you could overdo it and again we have that prayer answered prayer and miracles are coming for you um, this month so I feel I feel this miracle is coming in the form of truth um, because I kind of see this like the sword of truth, like this, this, I saw it for a second. I thought it was a sword, but if you're cutting through truths, you're cutting through truths. We have Mercury and Aquarius right now where you might get epiphanies and um, there are emotional waves that might be coming, cutting. And so you might like hear radio songs or you might hear things or you, it's just like in the ethers where you'll have like downloads and you'll have like. Um, feeling of crying and just like letting it all out and then like boom it goes away you know I feel waves waves of, of this emotional healing are going to be happening for you okay so I have two cards um, I have a crystal oracle I got smoky quartz and I'm going to read you what smoky quartz is uh, message is for you RS this month okay smoke smoky quartz message this month for my cancers is emotional blockage yeah I like I said I feel like you have been um, dealing with an emotional blockage and this month uh, you're, ha you're getting a lot of healing from that emotional blockage here see so you're getting a lot of healing from that emotional blockage uh, negative thoughts release release and grounding protection you're protected okay this beautiful smoky quotes crystal has appeared in your reading today to help you to release and express the many emotions that you have kept suppressed for quite some time yeah that's so interesting because this is the fear um, of communicating maybe just to about who you know about you about really what's going on inside cancer um, and express the many emotions that you have kept suppressed for quite some time there's an emotional cause to all physical symptoms so know that by acknowledging and expressing how you feel you allow healing to occur yeah you know I do journaling I do journal I'm gonna release my my book soon because it's not a book it's gonna be like a pamphlet of, of poems I'm ready because usually uh, it's so painful and like me trans transpiring it into you know something like a, a, a little booklet um, I know it can help a lot of people because I'm very good once I go, get through once I um, transmute the pain I can really eloquently write about it and um, I'm like right on target it's scary how on target I am and I usually leave people speechless with, with my poems because they're just like wow <laughs> that's intense because I'm an intense person but for you, I feel, yeah, um, journaling might help you. Journaling might help you because then you can really see that, you know, you can read it and you'll be like, wow, like that's what I went through. So, you know, it's it's really good like when I go back and I'm like, oh my God, like that's how I was feeling. So there's an emotional cause to all physical symptoms. So know that by acknowledging and expressing how you feel, you allow healing to occur. Do not be afraid. You see the fear of communication. Do not be afraid to cry for your tears will wash away your sadness and restore your emotional mental and physical well-being there is a jewel to be found in every teardrop trust this card signifies that healing is occurring right now uh, yes we want to um, give a little affirmation to please help clear any blockages to my cancerians uh, energy to help them right now with the North Node in Cancer to release um, their inner child within them what they wanted as as little kids that they have pushed down and pushed down and it's like now it's it's ready to come out it's a safe uh, place now that they're at 
North Node in, in uh, Cancer is really supporting them with the planetary uh, aspects, galactical aspects, uh, angelic healing, angelic um, healing and, and uh, support at this time for my Cancers. And then the last card is uh, Oracle of Angels card letting go so this is a, a time for you to let go and this month is important for you to let go because they want you to manifest from a clean slate right from a place of of a pure intention um without pain um without resistance so this is the number 42 which is six which is harmony balance love um and it says let go and let god the stress you are feeling is a result of your struggle and resistance. Instead of fighting against the current, allow the river of life to carry you to your destiny. Everything happens for a reason. Trust that you are in a safe place and safe hands and always on the right track. And the affirmation is, I trust in the wisdom of the universe. I go with the flow. Yeah, right now your intuition is like really spot on okay as and i believe me i have 28 degrees of pisces and i'm like what was that like you know a lot of the time double takes but i trust now i've learned to trust it because when i don't oh boy then i i get a real bad situation so super important to trust your intuition at this time as as kooky as bizarre as when it comes those songs that are telling you things trust it okay um it's I, f I can't emphasize that for you guys enough it seems to be pivotal pivotal so i hope this has helped my um cancers love is coming once the healing is allowed to take place okay and um you're you're also uh being guided to you know have a lot of persistence discipline and determination as well with this satyrian energy because you will be rewarded for what you have put in okay Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.